up, hello everyone, it's me again, Bam Ramirez of CD Win. Uh, if anyone noticed, I changed the uh, name of the channel from Bams Away to CD Bean because uh, YouTube recommend it, recommended it to more of uh, accurate of uh, what I post here since uh, I posted every uh, our stocks every week. So it's kind of a uh, from bams away to see the bin anyway uh, just another monthly roundup it's been a busy uh, two weeks here at the shop since we're on clearance sale but uh, still able to still able to uh, get some CDs from uh, different sellers from Instagram and carousel and one from Facebook and I got four records uh, let's get this thing going. Let's start with the CD first. Okay. Uh, Outer Hope. A day for the absent. This one released in 2009. Just... Pinoy Dream Pop Indie Pop Band. This one's released in 2009 under uh, Number Line Records. Under number line records, this is their second album, and uh, this one is a bit rare. I, uh, it's the, it's, it's my first after hope CD. I don't have their first one, and then they release 2009 and then 2018. Uh, almost 10 years uh, later, they release a follow up album, which is uh, released by uh, Shelf Life Records in the US. So just one of the important albums in Pinoy in the in the scene one of the most respected siblings or artists in the Pinoy in the scene uh, I've heard that story so far of course uh, 20 years from now is the one of the most well-known songs here but uh, my favorite is this story so far track number five uh, Ig Stone Biba Bible at Difference. This is their third and final album. Uh, another Swedish band in the 90s. This is around 97. I got this one from Carousel. I forgot the seller, but we'll put the links in the description. So, it's just to give you idea of uh, where I got some of my CDs and vinyl. I got this too from uh, Pets Records. They're on Instagram. Uh, two of the most important, uh, iconic, essential hip hop albums of all times: uh, Notorious B.I.G. Ready to Die and uh, First Public Enemy album. This one's uh, there's some really great sampling and sampling and uh, kind of explicit tracks here. Uh, explicit. Especially the interlude. There's some uh, moaning going on and the sex, sex thing. So just one of the most important albums in hip hop. Uh, Talk Talk the Color of Spring. This is the third album, and this is also where they start to move away from their synth pop sound and move into the more of a Avant Guard Pop, Art Rock, and then this one's in 86 and then in 88 they released the Spirit of Eden and then 99, 91, Laughing Stop which is one of the most, one of the first, kind of uh, the first album that uh, that belongs to, the, the, to this post rock Subgenre, one of the pioneer of post rock, post rock subgenre. Mark Hollis, RFP. Brian Eno, I think seventh album by Brian Eno. I'm uh, just a huge fan of Brian Eno, not the essential one, but uh, just a huge fan of Brian Eno. And uh, this one is not the most ambient stuff. More of into a rock oriented album, but still is Brian Eno. Uh, last of the CD is Johnny Cash. I have a bunch of uh, Johnny Cash compilations before, but this is for me the most complete one. 
there's some old old songs and old uh, Ring of Fire, Walk the Line, of course. Um, what most important is there's the four of his uh, famous 90s cover of Rusty Cage by uh, Soundgarden, Personal Jesus by um, The Pitch Mode, and one by U2, and of course the most famous one, Heart by Trent Reznor, and many things. Uh, I got four records since uh, I just I, I have few CDs, so I bought some records because uh, let's start <laughs> Julian B uh, Julian Baker second album uh, Turn Out the Bright Lights came out in 2017 Julian Baker miss every everybody knows Julian Baker if you haven't heard of Julian Baker just give it a try highly recommend one of the few present artists that I admire I don't have the first one yet, the first album yet, but uh, it still is. Of course, a fame track, Happy to Be Here, Heartless, and Sour Breath, Shadow Boxing. Uh, let's travel back to 1982 from French, Belgian, Saint Pop, uh, Saint Pop, Bossa Nova Band, Antenna, Camino del Sol. This is their first official mini LP released in 1982, but uh, this is the reissue by again one of the best label as of now, one of the best reissue label, the Numero Group. Uh, I discovered this band by uh, there's there's uh, there's playlist in Spotify hosted by uh, Supersonic called Air, uh, April Sonic. I discovered this to the one cur curated by uh, one of my hero, Oliver Ackerman of A Place of Strangers. Um, and funny thing is I discovered uh, the created that the posted that uh, playlist around May 2000, 2020 and one year later I found a copy of one of the most Electric, eclectic, uh, bossa nova, and synth pop combined sounds. Listen to Achilles. Of course, I uh, posted this one already almost a month ago. And would challenge for a civilized society. This is their sixth album before the famous lead starts inside inside you. And uh, what's best? This is again the this is again no metal group issue, and it's colored one of the one of the most beautiful vinyl that I have in my collection. I don't have any because I still a CD guy. So I've been looking this album and been for years, and I've been trying to complete. Uh, I've been trying to complete their discography. Uh, of course, Bernd Ramsey, the bass player, died last year. Just last year, yeah. Rest easy, Sir Burn. Of course, paid track is a left track, and uh, the side effects of being tired. Post hardcore, one of the most essentials and influential post hardcore band. Last one is uh, Dr. Twins Head Over Hills. This is their second album, and this is uh, I have this. I have the CD of this. Um, already I completed the uh, discovery, album discovery of uh, Dr. Twins already a couple of years ago. But uh, this is the original album cover, album artwork, and I just can't deny. I just can't refuse when I saw it. I got this from market anyway I uh, got this from Banayad Records she is on Instagram by sir, run by sir uh, John Carlos Sanchez will put the links on description of where I got most of this so second album 
um, Oliver, uh, this album cover designed by Oliver uh, Bohan, Bohan Oliver, or if I uh, pronounce that correctly, Bohan Oliver, and who, who also died a couple of years, couple, I think 2019, around the first uh, lockdown of, of the COVID thing, RIP. Uh, Bohan Oliver is one of the uh, is the is the one who shaped the album covers of the or, or the looks of the album covers of the 480. Most of the 480s albums are from Pixies, The Breeders, uh, Red House, Red Hot, Red House Painters, and of course uh, this one and there's so many other. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And background music is by him. Uh, I forget the album title. It's it's kind of long, but I stumbled the guy, band, the band the band member on Instagram, and uh, he said uh, he's in he's into band. So I will put the links in the description. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Ingat.